Good morning, YouTube and Facebook family. Thank you for tuning in today. God has got a powerful word for you this morning. I know that just by you tuning in, you getting up this morning, God is going to reward you for that. Why don't you go ahead and invite friends, share this page, take out your, your Bible and your notebook and begin to write down because I know that the Holy Spirit is going to minister to your heart today. Well, God bless you and we look forward to what God is going to say through this message. Would you please leave us a comment below of how this message is ministering to you and how it speaks to you. So let's go into the sanctuary now and hear what God is saying. Okay, so tonight, tonight's topic, uh, before we start, I want you to watch this video, okay? And I didn't, I didn't talk to him about what I was going to teach tonight. And the Lord put this, the Lord's been telling me, you know, for the last three weeks, witchcraft, you know, witchcraft, right? And we're all scared of that word. So don't be scared of that word. It's just the word. Uh, so tonight, we're going to learn a little bit of what is witchcraft. So, um, you know, just bear with me. Don't be scared. We're, we got Jesus. We got Holy Spirit. Just FYI, Holy Spirit is our teacher, our comforter, our everything. So he's going to be here teaching tonight, and he's going to be showing us some stuff, okay? So we just thank you, Father, for your spirit, your teacher that is here tonight, your spirit of truth, Father. So before we get started, go ahead and play that video. It's just for a minute and a half. I want you to look at this. When we think of witchcraft, we think of this right here. Dim the lights. And then look at the God. The Virgin Mary and, and Trojan God. Those are the idols. And this is supposed to be Michael, the guardian angel. What is this? It's not even Michael. You know that. Right? And look. Santeria, all the witchcraft. And this is the stuff that I have, the cadero. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is the cadero. And this is, this is, this is, this is, remember the, you know, you know, remember the, the, the tabernacle, right? When, when people met Jesus, they have to meet Jesus. This is the tabernacle of the devil. This is the tabernacle of the devil. Okay, quick video. And then go ahead and put the slides, the pictures. I want you to know what, you know, this is what we see what witchcraft is out there, okay? In the world, right? Th these are healing crystals, and then, of course, they use all these little things out here. Uh, and, you know, people are not aware of that, you know, that's witchcraft. Because anything apart from God is witchcraft. Because that's going to other gods. Because Jesus is our provider for healing, for our peace, for our joy, for our finances, for everything. Not no healing rocks. I'm sorry to crush your heart, but you do not put your faith on rocks. The only rock you put your faith on is on Jesus Christ. That's the only rock that you need. And I just wanted to clarify that. But this is not the witchcraft that the Lord was telling me about. So there's two kinds of witchcraft. And, you know, when we think of witchcraft, we automatically go there to the dark side. Uh, all the demons and all that crazy stuff, right? So, yes, yes. But don't be scared of that. Don't be scared because we got Jesus. We got Holy Spirit. We got the power of God. So that guy that was... Uh, on that video, his name is John Ramirez. He does amazing, you know, he, he, has an, he has a testimony of how he was in the witchcraft. And you can look him up, John Ramirez. I don't want to go much into it too much tonight because it's not about that. But he came out of all of that, and that's why he went out. He goes out there and teaches a lot about witchcraft. So if you're interested, Google him, John Ramirez testimony. Powerful, powerful man of God. Okay. So the witchcraft that God was showing me is in 1 Samuel. If you can put that scripture, it's on 1 Samuel 15, uh, right here. You know what? Back it up to the beginning. No, not the beginning. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. I got to break it down for you. I want to see what. 1 Samuel 15. Can y'all see that? That's small. Well, that's good. That's good size. Okay, go to... Um, mm, so this is, I'm a, okay, I'm going to give you, a, I'm going to paraphrase the, the, the story, okay? This is what happened. 
So Samuel's a prophet. That is the man of God back in the days, back in Samuel's day, okay? Samuel's a prophet. Saul was the first king of Israel, and God gave him instructions, and he did it halfway. So this is what, so we're going to go ahead and land on that story right there where it says, is that 19 or 23? Back it up to 20, 19, I'm sorry. Okay, and I hope you have your word with me so you can read. It says, when then, why then did you not obey the voice of the Lord, but rush greedily into the spoil, doing what, doing what was evil in the Lord's eye? But I did, and then Saul says, I did obey the voice of, of the Lord, Saul said to Samuel. I went on on the mission with, with the Lord and that he sent me. So God sent him a, a mission. He, he went to the mission, and he did it halfway. So this is, this is what they're going back and forth. And then jump to 22. It says, Samuel said, does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, uh, to obey is better is better than a sacrifice to pay heed as to listen than the fat of rams Okay, then 23 for rebellion is the sin of witchcraft Do you have witchcraft up there? Yes, for rebellion is a sin is as sinful as witchcraft This is the witchcraft that the Lord was showing me you know, we as believers we don't mess with that occult stuff with that demonic stuff <laughs> But he was showing me that this is the witchcraft that's in the church. There is witchcraft in the church. There's rebellion. Rebellion is witchcraft. Stubbornness is as bad as worshiping idols. So he says, so because you have rejected the command of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. So this is what the Lord was showing me. We got to get rid of this in the church, in our house. Because we know better not to mess with that stuff, right? We know better, right? And if we have, we just renounce it. We say, Lord, forgive me for opening the doors to all that santeria, you know, witchcraft, the egg. All that is, is not of God. All that it has nothing to do with God. Nothing. And just renounce it. Lord, forgive me for going to those places because that was not you. I come to seek your face. And you just start talking to him and telling him, I seek your face for healing, for everything that I need, because you are my source of life. Not witchcraft, not that junk. That's pure junk. And God is much better than that. So rebellion is as sinful as witchcraft, and stubbornness is bad as worshiping idols. So because you have rejected the commandment of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. So this is what, what's happening. We are... You know, and you know what? Uh, we're going to ask Holy Spirit before I get ahead of myself. Let's ask Holy Spirit. Is there any witchcraft? Is there any rebellion? And rebelling is, re is really being disobedient to what God has been telling you. Is there any rebellion in my heart? Is there something that you have told me, Lord, that I have not listened, that I have not completed all the way? that I have not fulfilled? Is there something in my heart that I'm rebelling against? You're, because it's really rebelling against his voice, his word. And you may say, this is the Old Testament. It has nothing to do with this. Let me tell you, if you keep reading in the New Testament, Paul addresses the Galatians, the Colossians in Revelation. Well, that's not Paul, but that's John. He addresses this. Get rid of that witchcraft. This is the witchcraft that he was talking about. Get rid of it. So let's find out what is witchcraft. So rebellion we know that it's rebellion stubbornness and not, okay so this is one side of witchcraft this is one side that's in the church god's giving you assignment god is talking to you in your home and you're choosing to fulfill it halfway and when there is witchcraft there's you know it's you're limited you're limited to his promises you're limited to see his kingdom in your life. Because pastor was preaching last Sunday about the kingdom of God, how the kingdom of God is within us, right? The kingdom of God is within us. So that means that we have a new government. And with this new government, we have to operate, you know, we have to learn how to operate and praise God for his grace and mercy that are new every day. Because it's not that you got to get this perfect. If you don't get this perfect, you're no good for God. I'm not trying to get there. What I'm trying to tell you is that you got this new kingdom. And you're going to learn how to operate 
with his new nature, with his government. And when we operate in witchcraft, we're not operating in the kingdom. And I'll show you later on. So rebellion is witchcraft. Have y'all asked Holy Spirit? Can we move on? And if, oh, write it down. I want you to write it down. And this was just, uh, while I was preparing for the last couple of weeks, I was, you know, he was showing me things in my life. Because I'm not just here to tell you this. I'm checking myself too. But God is checking you right now. Because this is what hinders the kingdom of God in our lives, in here, anywhere we go. So witchcraft is manipulate to control or play upon. Unfair, it's unfair or it means to take advantage. Intimidation is to make timid or fearful. Dominate, rule, control. So this is another side of witchcraft, control. If you're not a rebellion, ask Holy Spirit if you're just trying to control everything around you. That's another side of witchcraft, control. Because the opposite of control is what? Trust. In the new kingdom, you can no longer have control. I mean, not that you did before. You, we, we, we think we did, but you really didn't have no control of it, nothing. In the new kingdom, you got to learn to operate with trust. Another word for trust is faith. Another word for faith is belief. That's how we operate in the new kingdom now. We're no longer entangled with the old nature, which is witchcraft, our sinful nature. That word stubborn means idolatry. You know, we think, oh, I'm not worshiping the Virgin Mary up here. I'm not up here, or I don't have any shrines at my house. Stubbornness is idolatry. Idolatry is worship a physical object as God. Stubbornness. That means the hardness of the heart. There's, there's times where I've been through trials or life where I allowed my heart to get hardened because I was hurting and I pushed my heart away from that situation. And I allowed my heart to get hardened. And that's stubbornness and that's idolatry. So it's not worshiping Mary. It's not worshiping in a statue this is, a, this, is, this is the other stuff that he's showing us in the church. This is what we're doing. We're hardening our heart from his voice, from whatever it is that he's telling us to do. Colossians 3, you know what? I'm not going to go there. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, I didn't give you the Colossians 3, 5. If you can, go to Colossians 3, 5. It says, so put to death the sinful earthly things lurking within you, having nothing to do with sexual morality, impurity, lust, and evil desires. Don't be greedy, for a greedy person is an idolatry. A greedy person is an idolatry. So that's witchcraft right there. Worshiping the things of the world. Because of this sin, the anger of God is coming. And, you know, that's for the later on. So tonight, I want you to ask, we want to, we want to have an understanding of witchcraft. Don't, don't just think of witchcraft out there. Think of witchcraft as stubbornness, as rebellion, okay? And check your heart tonight, because tonight we want to get rid of this stuff, and we're gonna, we want to learn how to not walk in witchcraft. Go to Galatians 5. And in Galatians 5, it talks about how, it talks about the fruit, not the, uh, the fruit of the flesh and the fruit of the spirit. Back it up to 20, the, uh, 19. It says, now the deeds of the flesh are clear, sexual morality. Okay, 19, back it up to 19. I'm so sorry. I, I know I gave y'all 20. So the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, 
Uh, next, idolatry and witchcraft. A lot of times we don't see that. This is the works of the flesh. We don't see that. We see, you know, the adultery. We see the, you know, the other stuff. We see the, you know, the anger. But we don't, we forget to see the idolatry and the witchcraft. This was our old sinful nature. And our old sinful nature, we were so used to controlling things, being stubborn, hardening our hearts, withholding back from God. And this is what the Lord was showing me, that, you know, we sometimes go back to this old sinful nature. Instead of learning to walk in the new, in the kingdom, because the kingdom is within, right? The kingdom is within. The kingdom is, is love, joy, self-control, long-suffering, peace. That's, that's, part, that's the kingdom where we're supposed to walk in. But we're walking in this. And this is hindering, this is hindering our lives. And if it's not true, I mean, let me know. This is what the Lord was showing me, how the church is not dealing with stuff there, but it's dealing with the witchcraft in here. And we got to get rid of it. I got to get rid of it. You got to get rid of it so we can experience the kingdom of God. So we can experience and walk in that peace and walk in that whatever it is, that mission. So tonight, I want you to search your heart and I want you to write down what is it? What, what, what is it that is it hard for you to let go of control? Is it control or is it rebellion? That you're doing things halfway. You're not fully, because Saul did it halfway. He heard God, he did it halfway. So tonight, we want to get rid of that. Because it's no longer part of the, it's no longer part of us. We're part of this new kingdom where we walk in the spirit, not to not to fulfill the lust of the flesh. We're not doing santeria, we're not doing cards, we're not doing the huevo, we're not doing palm reading but this is something that you know that is entangling us that is wrapping us thank you father can you dim the lights real quick hey thank you for watching our video today we want to encourage you today to follow us follow us on youtube or facebook if you're on facebook like it share it if you're on youtube please subscribe to the button below so that you wouldn't miss any content that we have coming out we have some exciting news here at sydney on a hill god is doing amazing things so we don't want you to miss anything so if you hit that subscribe button you will get notified every time we have new content coming out god bless you thank you for watching